Hello, I'm Artifacts from Mars, and today is a joyous day. One of the most evil men in history, Fidel Castro, has died at age 90. This is a time for celebration, folks. This low-life scumbag who is responsible for countless murders of his own people and suffering like you would never believe is finally off the planet. The bearded Fidel Castro took power in the 1959 revolution and ruled Cuba for 49 years with a mix of charisma and iron will. No, he is a dictator, he is a vicious animal, creating a one-party state and becoming a central figure in the Cold War. He was demonized by the United States and its allies but admitted, admired by many leftists around the world, especially socialist revolutionaries in Latin America and Africa. And well, this point that I don't mention the uh, Democratic Party. Transforming Cuba from a playground for rich Americans into a symbol. Oh, that's bullshit. Cuba used to be, a long time ago, Cuba used to be just an unbelievable place from what I understand. Transforming Cuba from a playground for rich Americans into a symbol of resistance to Washington, Castro outlasted nine U.S. presidents in power. He fended off a CIA-backed invasion of the Bay of Pigs in 1961 as well as countless assassination attempts. His alliance with Moscow helped trigger the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, a 13-day showdown with the United States that brought the world the closest and has been the nuclear war. Well, that's bullshit, too. Uh, huh. We got a lot closer with Obama, in my opinion. Anyway, wearing green military fatigues and chomping on cigars for many years, of his years in power, Castro was famous for long, fist-pounding speeches filled with blistering rhetoric, often named at the United States. At home, he swept away capitalism and won support for bringing schools and hospitals to the poor. That is a sham. He also created legions of enemies and critics concentrated among Cuban exiles in Miami who fled his rule and saw him as a ruthless tyrant. Well, at least somebody saw him as an evil person. All these uh, college-educated liberals and these college professors, they sit there and they praise this dirtbag like he was some kind of a good guy. He was evil to the core. He was a dictator. Today is a day for celebration, like I said. Yeah! <laughs> Although Raul Castro always glorified his older brother, he has changed Cuba since take, taking over by introducing market-style economic reforms and agreeing with the United States in December 2014 to establish diplomatic ties and then decades of hostility. Yeah, he hasn't been quite as bad as his brother was. Uh, can we just say this? I've heard that Cubans and uh, Cuban exiles in Miami are celebrating, and I'm celebrating with you. I know what this guy was to you, even if our uh, media doesn't. I'd like to say I stand with our uh, human American friends. Today is a joyous day. Let's all celebrate. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I am happier than can be. Thanks for watching.